Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms also provided an update on the city's re-examination of the Atlanta child murders, including DNA testing now underway of evidence from the murders. Joe Hinkey has reaction tonight from one of the Atlanta police detectives originally involved in the cases. Joe? Jennifer, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms provided two key updates on the Atlanta child murders. First, investigators are making progress seeing which cases have evidence that can be tested for DNA, and some of that testing, as you mentioned, now underway. Investigators have also greatly expanded the window of time they're focusing on. For decades, Wayne Williams has maintained his innocence, while prosecutors consider him the suspect behind the Atlanta child murders from 1979 to 1981. He was convicted of killing two men in 1982, but never tried for the child murders. In 2019, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms announced the city was reopening the cases. Today, she provided the most substantial update yet. Investigators have also um, extended the timeline from 1970 to 1985 to see if there are any additional children or victims um, that perhaps have been overlooked. The child murders are believed to have taken place during a two-year window. Now investigators are looking at a 15-year window. Based on evidence and testimony and other pertinent factors, Wayne Williams is guilty for 27 of these murders. Former Atlanta Police Homicide Commander Danny Agan investigated some of the murders. He says looking back before 1979 is not a bad idea, but something investigators have done already in the 80s. The murders uh, that had occurred before then that fit this pattern, there's none known that I'm aware of. And looking up to 1985 doesn't make sense to Agan because he says Williams was in custody, and for him, Williams is the suspect. Those type of murders ended when Wayne Williams was arrested. Bottom says investigators have now reviewed 40% of the evidence from the murder cases and sent pieces to a private lab with extensive experience analyzing deteriorated DNA. DNA testing, of course, was not available when the child murders occurred. On June 21st, uh, we have moved forward with that processing. The mayor believes results of the testing will be returned in the coming months. Hopefully, um, before I leave office, I, I hope that we're able to get it back. But if not, I trust that whomever the next mayor is will keep this as a priority. And Agan says after being involved in investigating some of the child murders, he is very interested in seeing the results of DNA testing for these cases. But with what he knows, Agan doesn't see the results changing anything with Williams in his mind still remaining the suspect.